Well, hello and welcome to Radford University's graduate online course, Introduction to Educational Research. My name is Greg Sherman and I will be the instructor for this course and your guide throughout the experiences um, over this coming semester. And I wanted to just take a brief moment before you dive in and learn about the particulars of this class. Just take a brief moment in my welcome to talk a little bit about the nature of this class. Some of you may have a lot of experience with online education and some of you might have less. And um, the first thing I want to say is that um, I will be communicating to you um, as a student in a, in a number of important ways. One important way is through something like this, through, through video. Video that I will record and post and, um, and it, it's one-way communication. Um, I, I'll have closed captioning available on all of these videos. They'll be in YouTube and they'll be closed captioned. If you ever have an issue with the closed captioning um, and that's important to you, please reach out and let me know and I'll do what I can um, to, to fix things or, or at least to clarify things for you. I'll also be communicating regularly via email, um, which is certainly normal, even if it's not an online class. And I'll be communicating weekly or even perhaps a couple times a week through, through this welcome page. So this is the landing page for the course, and uh, this is where you're going to go regularly to um, access all the course resources and to um, hear directly from me about important things that, are, um, that you need to know. Um, I, will not, I will never have a time when I will be meeting online via video conferencing sort of live or synchronously as they say. Um, that's just not how this class is operating. So, um, so it's, your schedule is going to be um, completely up to you. Although I do have very hard deadlines for, for the, the products of the experiences. And I'll talk a little bit more about that when I go through a tour of the class online and I walk through the specific syllabus information with you. So that, that'll be the next video about the course th that you'll see. Um, but I, I just wanted to sort of let you know that this is it. This, this space right here, uh, this homepage, this is where you're going to probably navigate to every single day of the course. Um, so when, when the, the next step in the class is going to be to take a tour of, of, the, of the web experience. And in that tour, you'll get more specific information about how the class specifically is going to operate and what you need to do to be successful in the class. Because this, this class is going to operate on a weekly basis. And so you have weekly reading assignments, weekly reading reflections. You'll have, um, starting in week two, you'll begin the course project. And that will be a, a project that you build on throughout the, the, the weeks of the class. Um, and you'll also have assessments at the end of each week as well, or at least at the end of each of the first four weeks of, of this class. So, um, and that will be based on the, um, on the, the readings, particularly and most specifically the, the, the lecture notes that I'm going to be providing to you. Um, I have corresponding videos to go with those lecture notes. And, um, and so you're, you're going to see a lot of me <laughs> for better or worse when it comes to trying to communicate some of the really important ideas uh, of the class. But, but, but this class, um, does not have a heavy, heavy um, writing assignment th this semester. And so let me talk a, a, a little bit about that before you dive in and get to the particulars um, of the class. This class really does have a, a theme to it. And even though it's called educational research, I think a better title for this particular semester would be, um, would be, actually summed up by the title of your assigned reading. Um, this book was written by one of my favorite educational researchers and educational psychologists, Daniel Willingham. He is a professor at, at the University of Virginia. And this book is called, When Can You Trust the Experts? How to Tell Good Science from Bad in Education. 
And that's, that's really kind of the theme of this class. This class is very science oriented. But before you, you, you roll your eyes and think, oh, science, uh, a science class, let me just assure you that this is a class about thinking scientifically. And it's a class about doing science and how both of those things are things that can help you improve your practice as a professional educator. It's something that's foundational, not only to your graduate program, your Master of Science degree, but also foundational in, um, in your job as a professional. And hopefully by the end of this class, if you get nothing else from it, you will, you will, ha you will have a, a, an increased skill set and an increased appreciation for the value of thinking scientifically in your practice. And, um, and that can lead to big things, um, big things for you and big things for your students. So as I mentioned, a class like this typically has you doing a lot of literature review types of exercises as you prepare a research project that you will design and implement. Certainly the best way to learn about educational research is to do it, that is for sure. We, however, do not have the luxury of time or the luxury of a small enough student population to be able to have you not only develop a research proposal, but also implement it and evaluate the results. So for this semester, you are only going to be developing a research proposal, a proposal that will not be implemented likely, um, maybe ever. But there's something really fun and creative about that. And the fun and creative and intellectual part to that is that the fact that you're not going to be doing the research um, allows you to design it any way you want with however many subjects you want and with whatever intervention materials and experiences all you're going to do in this class is describe those and and describe and in light of the the, the problems that you would be attempting to solve um, with with your design now i am actually going to be putting some um, some guides very clear guides on the kinds of problems that i want you to think about um, during this, this course. And I am narrowing our problem thinking to the area of artificial intelligence. And so if you already have a lot of experience with AI, then, then that will likely be a very comfortable um, sort of avenue of thought for you. But if you're not familiar too much with AI and how AI is right on the verge of being used a lot in education, then, then, then that's going to be a bonus for you because you get to learn a lot more about that in this semester. And I personally find it highly fascinating, uh, highly potentially um, I impressive, and, uh, but also highly problematic. And that is the nature of science, is you're faced with phenomena that you observe in nature and it raises a lot of questions and we're going to be thinking about those questions and you're going to be thinking about them and thinking about what you might do to solve or to answer some of those questions. So that is how the, the, um, that, that's sort of the nature of the class and I'm going to be again talking a lot more about the specifics as you go through a tour of how the, how the course operates and then also you dive into the week one activities. So um, with that, I just wanted to again welcome you to the class and I look forward to working with you in the coming weeks. Um, I'm, in addition to the information that's gonna be posted on the course website and emailed to you, I am available one-to-one -to, -one to discuss things with you either via video conference or via, um, via the phone or back and forth with email. Um, whatever you're um, comfortable with. We have very large class size this semester, so, so um, it'll take some scheduling, but I am, I am up for it. So I, I'm, I'm here to support you however I can. Um, I'm very accessible that way. I, at least I hope you think that I am or you find me that way. So um, with that, please now read the rest of the information on this welcome page. And after you finish that, You'll click the, the next button on getting uh, on, a, on a tour of the, of the web space th that I have set up for you. And then you will be, and then it'll be time to dive in. Dive in and, and get yourself situated and ready 
to experience uh, the first part of the course. So again, welcome and um, I hope you enjoy this journey.